the last video we talked about templates in Excel um, and how we can use them to create these loan calculators, mortgage calculators, and so on. In the video before that, we talked about the PMT function. And I want to talk about a feature called Goal Seek, which allows you to work backwards in a function. So this doesn't just apply to this PMT, it's just I find it to be a good example for it. The example here is that I have a, a rate of 5.5% over three years and I borrowed $15,000. And so my payment per month is going to come out at $452.94. Let's say you were in the market for a car you didn't know what you were going to get yet. What you did know was the interest rate you're going to get from the bank, how many years you wanted to pay it off in, and how much you wanted to pay. You want to pay $300 a month. Now, you want to be able to work backwards in this formula and say, well, what does that mean for value? What does that mean I can get for value? So instead of you coming here and starting to play around with these numbers and going, okay, well, what if I drop it down to 12,000? Okay, now I'm at 362, I'm not quite there, and then keep dropping, keep dropping. What we can do is use Goal Seek to work backwards in this formula. So here's how it works. You're gonna click on the formula, and I can see that this is a formula in my formula bar. It's using these numbers to calculate out a value. So I'm gonna click on the formula. I'm then gonna to go to the data tab. And on the data tab, you have a button here called what if analysis. And if you click that, you have something called goal seek. And it has three things that you need to create in here. You have the set cell, which is the formula. You have two value, which is the value you wanna change that to. So I'd like that to go to negative 300. Now it's a negative value because it's an amount of money we would owe. Um, and I can see it's red in brackets here, so it's a negative value. Uh, by changing cell, so it says, okay, no problem, I can do this. I can change your formula result to be negative 300, but what cell can I change in order to achieve that? So, I mean, you could pick any one of these three cells, they're all being used in the formula. Realistically, we can't really change the rate. Um, years we could, except we wouldn't want it to be some ridiculous number of years. So I'm gonna change the value in this case. So I'm gonna say, by changing cell B3, I'm gonna click OK, as you can see, Goalseek says, I found a solution, we did it. You go, okay, there's my payment of 300 per month based on this interest rate over this number of years, and it tells me this is how much money I can get. So that Goalseek is really handy to work backwards in any formula, not just PMT. Uh, so give it a shot. It's a really underutilized feature in Excel.